One by one, these children climb the stairs of Gaza's new cinema bus, eager to see what film awaits them inside. The movie was really nice, with lots of adventures in it. It's the first time I've watched a movie in a bus. The new initiative is supported by the European Union and run by a local charity. It offers a range of films designed to promote peace, tolerance and non-violence. Cinema Bus has an indoor and outdoor screen. Indoor screenings can accommodate 60 people as well as the physically impaired. The outdoor screen can be adapted to different sizes and can accommodate up to 500 viewers. In the 1950s, cinema flourished in Gaza. People would delight in films from the Arab, Asian and Western worlds. But that all came to an abrupt end during the Palestinian uprising in 1987, when movie theaters were set on fire. The film industry has never truly recovered since then. Today, Gaza is home to a little more than two million people, but only those with permits are allowed to travel beyond its borders. Inside, there are limited options for cultural experiences, so families try to enjoy films at home. But the cinema bus offers a welcome change. This cinema is really nice. I wish we had a big cinema like this one so we could always go to it, because we don't have access to things like this. It's the first time I've watched a movie in a cinema like this, a movie about love and caring about yourself. A message designed to reach everyone along the Gaza Strip. Jillian Wolfe, Al Jazeera.